morning. It's 8.55 right now. I'm Katherine Hauser. We'll check your top stories in just a second right after Pamela's forecast. Hey, Pamela. Hey there. Stalled out front will continue to give us a few lingering showers in eastern parts of Massachusetts. The clouds are hanging around and we also have some areas of drizzle. Temperatures in the 70s, currently 73 degrees in Boston with high humidity throughout the course of this afternoon. It's looking up 84 degrees by the time we hit the drive home with clearing skies from west to east and gradually decreasing humidity. Traffic and weather together. Pamela, we have a new accident to tell you about. This one's north of the city. The crash is up in Woburn, 93 northbound at Montvale Ave. That's a busy stretch, but it's going away from the morning rush. The southbound side, however, look at all that red. That's jammed from Woburn down to Leverett Connector. Catherine. All right, Roby, thank you very much. Let's get a check of our top stories now. Today, a young man accused of raping a teenage girl is expected to take the stand in his own defense. Prosecutors say Owen Labrie was days away from getting his diploma at St. Paul's Prep School in New Hampshire when he raped a 15-year-old girl during a ritual that's known as the Senior Salute. Labrie says sex with his accuser was consensual. Police are trying to find a 7-year-old girl who was supposed to be in state custody. Police believe she's with her mother and grandmother. However, the two women skipped a court hearing yesterday relating to their filthy living conditions in Newburyport. Police believe the family could be staying at campgrounds in either New Hampshire or Maine. Almost two dozen Massachusetts firefighters called to action out west will be honored today. Twenty firefighters from state and local departments have spent the last two weeks fighting the so-called El Dorado wildfire in Oregon. This afternoon, they'll be recognized by the Department of Conservation and Recreation at a ceremony in Irving. The El Dorado fire is currently 35% contained. Well, don't go anywhere. Our next newscast is coming up today at noon on WBZ. And don't forget, CBSBoston.com is your source for news 24-7. Have a great morning.